the production of oxyhemoglobin can be illustrated through the following reaction. Oxygen binds with deoxyhemoglobin to form oxyhemoglobin and hydrogen ions. This equation represents the binding of oxygen to the iron ions in heme groups in hemoglobin molecules. Oxygen association occurs at the lungs. The dissociation of oxygen from oxyhemoglobin can be illustrated through the following reaction. Hydrogen ions bind to oxyhemoglobin to form deoxyhemoglobin and oxygen. This equation represents the unbinding of oxygen from the iron ions in heme groups in hemoglobin molecules. Oxygen dissociation occurs at the tissue cells. The loading and unloading of oxygen to hemoglobin is governed by factors that allow hemoglobin to pick up oxygen in oxygen-rich environments and give up oxygen in regions where it is needed. The more oxygen molecules binding to hemoglobin, the higher its saturation. When all of its oxygen binding sites are filled, hemoglobin is considered to be saturated and is called oxyhemoglobin. Factors that affect the ability of hemoglobin to bind to or release oxygen include partial pressure of oxygen, pH, partial pressure of carbon dioxide, temperature, a chemical called bisphosphoglycerate or BPG, and hemoglobin type.